it's an extremely abridged version. You want uh, the rest of this news at 11. So um, I'm in my apartment, minding my own business, washing dishes, and then one day, bam, out of nowhere, God just brings t absolute terror into my soul with the passages, Matthew 7, verses 21 to 23. So here I am all my life thinking that I'm good to go. Why? Because I almost became a Mormon, talked to some Mormons last week, and uh, they showed me the way, okay? They believe in Jesus, so the Jehovah's Witnesses, blah, 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 okay? So, damn, I'm good to go. But then God said, nope, that's not it. And I wasn't even looking for God. He came to me and brought absolute terror in my soul. Uh, and then from then on, uh, you know, the rest is history. That's the abridged version. So I, I don't understand how you want to write that. Why is it off every time? Like um, Kevin, Josh hates this is retarded. So much that he wouldn't come in the stream. I don't think. But yeah, but you're you're absolutely right, Ryan. If you're going to be consistent with your synergistic view, then you would have to believe this. Then, right? That so I guess Calvinism is synergism. I'm going to look into that again. I have heard that video twice from Kevin Thompson. These people are busy slagging him off. Pass up to them, you know. Uh. I don't need to defend Kevin Thompson. <sighs> He's quite capable of that. But listen to what Ryan says about Mormonism, and uh, I think he mentions the Jehovah's Witnesses. You're right, uh, Ryan. You, well, if, if you would be fully consistent within synergism, like the Mormons, as he ra uh, Josh Musics raised earlier, then yes, you would have to believe that because you deny that God is a say. The yeah, this this is retarded. They, the Mormons. <laughs> That's why right. I'm saying, Ryan, you are retarded. Oh, gosh. See, the R word. No, no. Is let, let Ryan hear. Okay, Ryan, Ryan, go let ahead. Ryan, fucking Dr. speak Dr. forever. Ah, and then you can speak. But Ryan, Ryan was saying no, something that was actually pertinent and important. It's about. I'm not even fucking speaking anymore. Own channel, not me. What Ryan was saying was pertinent and important. Go ahead. Yes. The Mormon position relies upon, similar to their Jehovah's Witness cousins, All right. their people going out and preaching the message. Their God needs them. Yeah. Their God can't. Same thing in the small G God of Calvinism. They don't know who's elect, but they preach anyway. Uh, and there's probably a couple of other points I wanted to make. Do they, that by himself. So I find it interesting Josh would raise Mormonism in point. Well, the small G God of Calvinism needs a Calvinist to go out. I mean, even Beckel goes out preaching. And, you know, uh, does God need Beckel to preach if predestination is correct? Uh, and obviously, uh, I don't believe predestination election is correct at all. Point of fact, no, Josh. You believe similar to the Mormons. You believe they're projecting yes. your own beliefs onto others. God does. Uh, so does Veckel. Uh, I'm going to attach his testimony front and back to this little recording here. Maybe you'll detect the hypocrisy. Maybe you won't. He does not need you to go out and do anything because he's independent of everything. <laughs> if everything is causally determined, there is no secondary means, no secondary agency, no epistemology. Why would the Calvinists preach if they actually believe their own garbage? Amen to that. That's See, this is this is. Guys. So, but you know what? You know what this reveals to me, Ryan. The real you know, guys like Josh who says like this, and I don't know if he's being serious or not. Maybe he's just doing this in order to try to, you know, just to Josh be satirical. Likes to but, do meth. But, okay. but yeah, I you know it's statements yeah, like I think he is actually correct. God needs your help to ensure Calvinism rebuked. Well, Calvinism corrected. You can never correct the Calvinist. Uh, I wish you to just well, I hate to use that word. But if only he'd used a small G instead of a capital G. Uh, yeah, but anyway, that's a minor point.
<coughs> like this, I I begin to wonder if that is the case. <laughs> Maybe he is doing a little bit of this meth. But well, you know what this reveals to me, Ryan? It reveals to me the the real reason why they hate Calvinism, or so they claim, is because their autonomy is in jeopardy. Guys like this. My autonomy is not in jeopardy. I hate Calvinism. I despise it. I disrespect it. It's not necessary for any Christian. I'm not frightened of losing autonomy. Everybody has autonomy uh, to make decisions about things. Uh, you have true autonomy when you have no antecedent conditions uh, for your decision. In other words, you're not forced into making a decision one way or another. I could decide now at this very moment, oh, I'm going to go and buy some milk. There's nothing. For, I've got a, nearly a full container of milk in my fridge. So there's no antecedent conditions uh, sort of forcing me or anything to either go and buy some milk or not do so. <clears throat> Hopefully you understand what I mean. Uh, free will, that word, it does not, that phrase, sorry, does not occur in scripture. The only time it does is when it's concerning free will offerings. In other words, people can make a choice. It's a free will offering. Uh, I, I will never argue for free will. Uh, no, autonomy even. Uh, Self-rule. It, it's a compound of two words. Self, auto, from the Greek. Uh, nomos, also from the Greek. Uh, rule self-ruling i suppose i'll have to double check on that word normal but, but anyway minor point so i'm not saying all non-calvinists i'm just saying individuals like this that come at calvinism your breed of oh yeah only if you are you are uh, pointing out the contradictions uh of calvinism if you disagree with their calvinist so-called worldview yeah, they hate, they, they're frightened of their, uh, losing their autonomy. I'm sure Josh Music uh, made that decision to type that comment in. I would say generally without anybody forcing him to, to type that out. It's his yeah, people. they hate the fact that there is a sovereign God right. who does what he wants and he beckons. Show me the word sovereign in scripture. Show me that. I know what's meant by it. Show me the word sovereign in scripture. I think Becker would probably go to his ESV, uh, which was done by a Calvinist. A uh, Calvinist was on the editorial board. They'll use other Bibles. They don't like using the KJV for some reason. Uh, I wonder why. Upon, he does not depend upon any man to do anything that he wants to do. Have you not read Daniel chapter 4, verse 35 and 36? Well, that the problem with a man like this is you can read that to him all day long. He'll state that he believes it and then he'll realize right. that he actually does it. Ryan, have you, yeah. Ryan, have you heard, read Daniel's chapters verb anyway, after verb? There is no Daniel's. There's only one Daniel, my I've friend. I've probably read the book of Daniel yeah. now something yeah, you've like... You've never read any of this. times. I suggest you get off of the Jack Daniels. You <laughs> the Jack. Look yeah. at Josh say, "Whoa, accuse." There we go, modelizing. Yeah. Okay. Using of using that. Yes. When you say stupid stuff like this, Josh. Yes, you dog all right. I'm accusing you of drug use. That's right. Because yeah. nobody who is a professing Christian, who is a true student of the Bible, would ever say something like, "Uh." Yeah, I think that. God can reach his elect regardless if you evangelize. So why evangelize? Yeah, Calvinism is pointless, Josh. They're trying to make him sound like another. I'm not here to defend Josh Music. I think he's intensely egotistical, egoic, big-headed. But, you know, let's not let my opinions get in the way of what the facts are as I comprehend them. I don't care if somebody gets upset by what I say. I don't set out to annoy people. I just say what I mean. It makes life so much easier 
when you try at least your very best not to lie about somebody. Yeah, okay, so he's got to put the Jack Daniels away. Okay. Say something like this. A God, a God, God needing needing help? God doesn't need help from and anybody. Again, look at this question. Why oh, evangelize if God doesn't need your help? That's so stupid. That is, again, please keep revealing that you don't know. They don't, you, you, nobody ever understands Calvinism, uh, Ryan. I don't know why he became an Anglican. I might, I might ask in some way. I don't think I'm going to be in it. You're going to be in a stream with me again. Because it's really funny that you left my live stream the other day. I think it was last week. And immediately that you left, some Calvinists came in lying about the KJV and King James and whatever. Yeah, that, oh, that's... Uh, oh, it's a coinky-dinky. All oh, right. And I heard you talking to Ben the other day as well. I, I, I did mention it to News Unit. I said, oh, you know, in that 10 seconds I heard Ryan speaking to Ben, he was pushing determinism or decretalism, one or the other. <coughs> Both the same, by the way. Understand the Bible. This is retarded. I'm, I'm not going to. Retarded. Hmm. At least Sir, Numi has the decency phone. to mute his microphone while using his bomb. Like that. So I wish you could just edit out that idiot's voice, Spider. I'm going to end end this because I'm going to add a couple of videos to either end of it, mainly to illustrate the hypocrisy of these Calvinists. Hopefully, you'll get on it. Uh, this that would be on the subject of Mormonism and Jehovah's Witnesses. Uh, uh, Ryan mentioned, and so did Veckel in his testimony that's up to him that's up to them you know i'm not complaining i'm just making a point here uh what does that mean it is a false gospel ben uh, it's an extremely abridged version you want uh the rest of this news at 11. so um i'm in my apartment minding my own business washing dishes and then one day bam out of nowhere god just brings t absolute terror into my soul with the passages matthew 7 verses 21 to 23. so here i am all my life thinking that i'm good to go why because i almost became a mormon talked to some mormons last week and uh, they showed me the way okay they believe in jesus so the jehovah's witnesses blah 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 okay so damn i'm good to go but then god said nope that's not it and i wasn't even looking for god he came to me and brought absolute terror in my soul uh and then from then on uh, you know the rest is history that's the abridged version so i, I don't understand how you want to write that